In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some library resources um, to complete the analysis of the essays that you read for essay number two. So for my example, um, I'm going to use even trigger warning is now off limits. And you can see I, I made a lot of notes on the paper of the different ideas that occurred to me while I was reading the essay. Um, and some of the main things that jumped out to me was that idea of trigger warnings, also that idea of oppressive language and the impact of language on bias, discrimination, things like that. And so those are the things that I'd like to pull out of this essay and my analysis of it that I'm writing for my peers, kind of like a reader's guide to the essay. And so in order to do that, I kind of want to see what other people are thinking about these ideas about trigger warnings or these ideas about how language may or may not inform bias or discrimination, right? So in order to do that, I'd like to see um, what some other people were thinking. And a good way to do that is to look at some articles. I can look at newspaper articles, magazine articles, scholarly journal articles to kind of get the lay of the land for these topics. So to do that, I'm starting on the college's homepage. Then I'm clicking on Quick Links, Library and Chat. And I'm back on the library's homepage. I'm clicking on Research Databases. And the first database that I recommend using for this kind of project is a database called Academic Search Complete. And this is great for this kind of project because it's kind of the super Walmart of databases. It has a little bit of every discipline in it. It has all different kinds of articles. It has newspaper articles, magazine articles, scholarly journal articles. So to get into Academic Search Complete, I'm clicking on the title. And the first time you log in, at this point you would be prompted to put in the username and password that you use to access Canvas. So now that I'm inside the database, I'm just going to do a, a quick um, easy search for trigger warning. And I'm going to put this search in quotes because it's really important that trigger and warnings show up next to each other and that's what the quotes do. And I'll hit search. And I have 166 results. They're all different kinds of results you can see. The first thing I want to do is limit to full text because I only want to see articles that I can read easily. And then as I scroll down, um, I can see the title of different articles and then also um, a short summary of the article, right? Student reactions to traumatic material in literature, implication for trigger warnings, right? Um, trigger warnings in context, in context, the robe institutional be betrayal and the trigger warning debate, right? So if I see something here that looks interesting, looks like it's going to give me some more information um, so that I can write a better analysis of the essay, um, I would click on the title and it will take me to where I can get the full text of the article and I have it right here, right? Once I have the full text, if I look over on the right, I, you can see that I could send it to myself on Google Scholar. I can print it, I can email it, and um, more excitingly, I can pull down a citation that's made for me, and you guys use MLA in this class, right? Let's go back to the results. What I just pulled down is a scholarly journal article, and that might be more than you want to read at this point in your exploration of this article. You might prefer something um, that's not as in-depth, and if that's what you want, you could decide you want to read a magazine or a newspaper. So if I click magazine, it'll limit to magazine articles, and you can kind of get a sense of the different types of information you get based on the audience for which the um, article was written. You know, here's something about trigger warnings. Better watch what you say. This looks like it's a, um, it's another long piece in the Atlantic. You know, and there's a little co pro and con you could see right there. Pro trigger warnings maybe against.
Oh, and this is a letter to the editor you can see right here. You know, a, a series of letters to the editor, right? Um, and it refers back to another article that you might want to read, and it's giving you a hyperlink to that article there. Um, another database that you might choose to use for this is a database called U.S. Major Dailies. Which is a collection of 21 major U.S. newspapers. And I could do a similar search here just for trigger warnings, right? The same kind of search. I get 745 results. There's a lot of op-eds, which means they're opinion pieces, letters to the editor, um, things like that. Right, so that's kind of interesting. If, let me, if I go back to Academic Search Complete one more time and go back and look at the results, some things that could be interesting about using this database if we look at all the results is you can kind of get an idea of how long people have been writing about um, this issue, right, 2014. Um, so that can give you an idea of how long um, people have been talking about it or thinking about it, which could also be useful for your analysis. Um, one other way that you could look for information related to this article is that whole idea about la language and bias. So I can do a search that looks like this, language and, and then in parentheses, bias or discrimination or racism, right? And what I've done in this search is I've told the search engine, look for any articles that talk about language and bias or language and discrimination. Or language and racism because I'm not really sure how they're going to show up but these are some ideas based on what I've read in the article of how language can impact um, different areas of our lives right and what's interesting here is when you get your results if you look down at these subjects you can see that in this database there's a subject term that's called racism in language so if this article was interesting to me or was in investigating this topic um, from a lens that I thought would be useful. I could find more articles on this topic by simply clicking this hyperlinked subject term racism and language and it's going to launch a whole new search and give me a whole set of um, articles that talk about racism and language and that kind of thing. So I hope that you found this useful and that you will explore your topics using Academic Search Complete and U.S. Major Dailies, and that if you have any problems using these databases or anything else, that you will go to the library and click on that chat help widget, or you will look under the Meet Our Embedded Librarian page in your course and get help from us right away. Good luck.